Hey guys, I wanted to come to you today with some diamond paintings that I have finished. Um, at the beginning of the year, I wanted to go through five of them, and I thought that that was going to be a horrendous defeat, or defeat? Well, if you're going to start off with a defeat, I mean, where to go, why even go with it? Um, feet, there we go. Maybe that's the word, I don't know, come up with a word. So, I was like, I'm going to try to get five diamond paintings done. And then, we all got stuck in the house. And, um, so I'm like, what am I going to do? And there's only so much TV you can watch. And finally, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to figure out a way that I can start diamond painting and not tear my neck up. If you have not been here um, for... I haven't done a lot of diamond. I did very little diamond painting in the last year because last year about at, on Good Friday, I moved a mattress, but what started it was I had for an entire year diamond painted and I was looking down for hours at a time. I would finish a diamond painting. I would immediately go in there and get another one and I was obsessed with it. I was just hours on end. I would sit there and what I had done was basically gotten what they call cell phone neck. I was looking down all the time and I had moved my mattress and that was what wrecked it. So for the last year I have not been able to diamond paint which was very upsetting to me because I absolutely love to do it and I had a bunch of diamond paintings and I was like dear god I've spent all this money on these diamond paintings and I'm not going to be able to do them I have everything from Al um, AliExpress I have Tin Me Arts I have Star Or I have Diamond Art Club um, so I have diamond paintings of every size shape um, picture cost whatever and I'm like now look what you've done not only that but it was very expensive to deal with a pinched nerve and then after I pinched the nerve I managed to trip over a sack and fall into the door jam here with my bad hand and that messed it up even more so that was in April in August I just got done with um, physical therapy it wasn't until probably October or November that I got the entire feeling back in my hand. Um, and so I'm just about a month past a year. And um, so in, I think it was Easter weekend. So it was about a year. Um, I have, I had an easel, but every time I used it last year, it would, my neck would still hurt. So I have a table sitting in front of me that I have paintings on and I had the easel on top of it and I was diamond painting but I was sitting on the floor and it made my knees hurt really bad. So um, I had been contemplating getting one of the personal size tables at Walmart and I was watching Miss Coffee's video the other day. I don't even remember which one. I think it was the one that she was talking about. Um how she does large diamond paintings and she said that she had the personal size table and I thought she had one of the huge ones. No. And I was like, well, dadgummit, she's been doing them on there this long and she's been doing those big old things on there. I'm getting one. So I did. So it cost me $30 and I figured at this point, it's going to be a heck of a lot cheaper buying a $30 table um, and some of that non-slip stuff to put under it than it is going to be to pay for a freaking pinched nerve because last year I managed to hit my deductible, my out of pocket and was getting my stuff free because I had hit it. That And that's like $3,000 I think. The last time I did that was when I had a surgery. So I was like get the $30 table before you tear something up again and I ain't dealing with that pain again. So. I had a couple of diamond paintings that I had started from when, before I tore up the nerve, and then one that I had tried to work on last year and it just didn't work. So I finished those. I have finished one, two, three, four. One of them's in the 
no, I finished five. So I have hit my five diamond paintings for the year already. One of them's in the trash over here. I wouldn't show it anyways because it's an ever moment. I don't know if it's um, one that had a copywritten image on it. But the reason I threw it away, it was like a 20 by 30. Uh, Stitcherista did one. I think she has it on her channel. And it is of the lady. Um, she's wearing black and she has the black cat. And it, they both have purple eyes. And um, it was pixelated. But what got it thrown in the trash was I had finished it. I put it in my portfolio um, thing back there and the diamonds start I pulled it out the next weekend and the diamonds had popped everywhere and I was like oh you are not staying in my life because at this point in my life I'm not dealing with anything that's gonna upset me I'm just like throwing it in the trash and I walked off so it's still sitting right there in the trash um I think I finished that one last weekend um but or the weekend before I don't know it was a couple of days ago that I threw it away and I haven't taken the trash out of here because it's not full but um, then there's another one that I finished, and it is a Tin Me Arts watercolor tiger. I don't know if I'm able to show that one on camera or not, but I did finish it. It is a gorgeous one. Um, so I do have a Star Ore that I finished and um, two other Diamond Art Clubs. There is a Diamond Art Club that is almost finished. And then I have a Star or one over here um, that I'm working on right now. And the reason why the Diamond Art Club one wasn't, isn't finished right now is because it's a square. And me and squares are not the friendliest of people together. So, um, although squares aren't people, but that's beside the point. So, um, I will do squares. They're just not my favorite. And this one, you'll see later that it got to where there was a lot. It was kind of confetti I have it. So, um, I'll just show you what I have done, and then I'll show you the two that um, I'm trying to finish. And then I have a list of some other ones here that I am trying to um, get done. But the first one that I finished was the, um, what's it called? Purple Unicorn from Star Ore. And this one is the one that I finished, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I absolutely love this one. And so that one was the one that I had started after I'd hurt my neck, and my therapist was telling me to, my physical therapist was telling me to try to start doing it again, and my neck would get tight and sore, and I was like, nope, not tearing that up again. So now i have the easel i have this big table i have a chair that i sat here in before i was setting i had it setting on this table and i was setting on the floor so um it is going better my neck's not hurting thank god so this one is from diamond art club and i started it before i hurt my neck and um, it is another round and it's called Chow Chow, and I absolutely love this. I think it is the cutest thing. And I have over there um, the guinea pig that's kind of like this, and it's a square. So that one's going to be another little fun episode because it is all confetti. Because you can see that this is like a confetti mess. But um, I think I'll be able to do that one. It's not as big as this um, one I have here. So the next one that I started was this lavender arrangement and this is the one that I have not finished as you can tell with a big block here um, you can see that really come on see I'm not organized enough to do this anymore um, you can see there's a lot of confetti in there and I'm like yeah I'm just not all about that today so I decided to put this to the side you can see that it is gorgeous right here um, I absolutely love it. Um, I have had no problems with this painting. It's just the square life. And um, I, my favorite is not squares at all. Um, I started with rounds and I have done um, very few squares. I will buy squares if I like the picture, but I prefer rounds. So that is the third one I've started on. But I have not finished that one. So, and then the um, fifth one that I have completed. And this one is a Diamond Art Club. And I have to say that this is probably not my favorite 
Diamond Art Club. That does not mean that I don't like Diamond Art Club now. That doesn't mean that um, this is my own opinion. And I have a feeling like this might have been some other people's opinion because I don't see it on the site anymore. I don't know if they have it. But this is also around. And I did not... This one, when I started doing this picture, I started seeing it come together. And how I did this was there's 29 colors. And I did each color at a time. I did all of that color at a time, except for the 390, 939s. That is what um, the biggest part of it. No, it wasn't. You goofball. What was that? Yeah, it was. It was the 939s. Um, that I did the checkerboard deal on it, and then I went and I filled it in as I saw fit while I was doing the other ones. But I did all of the other colors one pack at a time. I didn't, I didn't square it off, you know, and whatever. I just had it all uncovered and did it. And it is the pink rose. And <coughs> this is, the reason why this is not my favorite is because this looks like camouflage right here. Um, it just looks, it looks like camouflage. If the entire, hang on, painting had been like this right here, it would have absolutely been gorgeous. But when it gets out here to this side, it looks like um, brown camouflage. And I have something blue on it. What on earth is stuck in there? Anyways. Um, so, for that reason, this is not my favorite um, diamond painting. I did have a bunch of trash in this one. Um, there was one, like one of these brown colors right here. There was a ton that... The dime, the drills, they had little bitty pieces like they were supposed to be drills, but they didn't grow into adult drills. So I threw a bunch of those away. The 939 had a bunch of trash in it. I think this was the one diamond painting from Diamond Art Club that I had the most problems with. And um, I was watching a Miss Coffee, um, Mrs. Coffee um, video the other day. And I don't know if it was an older one, a new one. I don't know. I was just watching the, the, her videos. And um, she was looking at the drills, and she said the, the drills looked good. There wasn't any trash in them. So I don't know if they went through an episode of having some trash in some of theirs or some difficulty with the people that they did. I don't know. But... Um, I don't, I don't even, I, and I have bought, I have bought two more diamond paintings from them. So it's not like I'm going to stop. I'm like, I'm done with them. No, I'm not done with them. I've already bought two more. And I have a ton more around here that, and there's some over there that's, um, I have a sneaky cat started. I have Alice in Wonderland. I have a guinea pig. Those are some other ones that I'm getting ready to work on. But this one was by far the least favorite of mine. And I have done several of theirs already. Um, just for the picture. Um, if it had showed up like more like this, I would have been happy without this camouflage and just the um, trash that was in the deals. So um, that is, so I'm working on the arrangement still and then um, the lavender arrangement that I showed you. And the other Star Orwin that I am working on is the Butterfly Fairy. And um, I'm about halfway through it. I think I have four or five more colors I have to work on. And I will be done with that. And then um, I have a couple of Star or Rhinestone ones that I need to work on. And one of them is the Sunflowers with the Butterfly. What is the other one? I can't remember, but there's a red poppies that I need to, um, let's see, red poppies, red rhinestone poppies, the star or sunflower and butterfly. I may have been thinking about this other star right here. 
Um, so I've done the purple unicorn, the chow chow, the pink rose, the Timmy Art watercolor tiger, and the lady and black cat with purple eyes. So those are the five. So I've cleared what I was going to do for the year. And then I've got the lavender arrangement and the butterfly fairy from Star Or that will be finished at some point um, in the near future. So that will be seven I will have done. And then I have the guinea pig and the Star Or sunflowers with butterfly, the poppy, the red, red rhinestone poppies. And there is a, I don't know what I did with it, but there is a rhinestone, or there is a poppy one from Star Or that I need to do. What did I do with that thing? Anyways, Alice in Wonderland, I started that before I got my neck hurt, and um, I know Stitcherista is working on that one right now. And I also started the Sneaky Cat um, before I hurt my neck, and that one is a square, so that one's going to take a while. So those are the ones that I have on my list right now to finish. Um, but I have met my total for five um, this year, and um, I will keep working on them. I've come up with two. I'm watching Miss Coffee, um, the table. I have um, come up with two acrylic pens that's going to help my um, hand working on it. Um, because I did have like I was just working with smaller pins and that was not a good thing I did have some that had the rubber bands on it, but um, I got the acrylic ones. I like that I did get a couple of cover minders to help me keep the um, stuff back So there's a few things that I'm working on that I've gotten just to help me so that things are a little easier for me to do this so that I don't tear something up again because um, that is my big fear of tearing my neck up again. I do not want to do that, so I'm doing everything in my power not to do that. But um, I did want to let you all know, give you an update on what I was, I have been doing, what I'm going to be doing, and um, hopefully next month I will be back with some more. I'm absolutely loving working on this again. Um, I've been watching some of Miss Coffee's videos. I've watched um, some of... Miss Coffee's the most I've watched, and then Rachel Ray and then Stitcherista are the ones that I've really watched, um, but Miss Coffee being the one that I watch the most. And um, I'm trying not to get too involved in it because I know with my OCD, um, I'm in the house because I have germ OCD from this. Um, well, I have germ OCD in the this what's going on right now is keeping me in the house and um but i if i watch too many videos i will go on a spending spree of buying every pen i can find every painting i can find every um everything i can find so i'm trying not to do that um i'm still trying to do the budget and um with the possibility of layoffs um, there, there's going to be layoffs, so I don't know where it stands with my job. So that's why I'm trying to take everything um, very slowly at that. So I just want to let you know where that stands. Um, just let you see that, and I will show you what's coming next month. Um, and I will try to stick with Diamond Art Club and Star Wars so that I can show you what I'm doing. But um, my time's getting ready to go off. If you would... If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.